Today we're going to be going over my updated NVIDIA filters for Warzone and I'm also going to be showing you guys how to get NVIDIA filters for those who don't know how and I'm also going to be going over the game not supported error which I've been seeing a lot of people get. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. So if you guys are just here for the filters just skip ahead in the video and uh, let's just get right into it. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to show you guys how to fix the game not supported error that I'm seeing a lot of people get. So all you have to do actually is just right click your desktop and go to your NVIDIA control panel. And then once that's loaded up, you're going to see manage 3D settings here on the left side. So then down here, you're going to see restore. And all you have to do is click that and the error should be fixed once you apply your settings here. But keep in mind, all these settings here are going to be reset. So make sure you take a screenshot of that. Otherwise, you could just copy my settings here. I'll just kind of scroll through them for you guys and uh, that should fix that error for you. Okay, so for everyone who doesn't know how to install NVIDIA filters, it's actually really easy. All you need is this program called GeForce Experience. I'll link it down in the description. You actually really should have this program either way because this is how you actually update your drivers. But once you have it installed and opened, all you have to do is go to the top right here to the settings, the little gear cog, click that. And then you're going to see something called in-game overlay right here. So just check that and then you're going to be good to go. All right, so once we're in the game here, all you have to do is click Alt Z on the keyboard and it'll bring this menu up and from here all you got to do is click game filter and it'll bring this up now this is what the game normally looks like and then once we click style one here this is what the game looks like with the filters on as you can see it's just a huge difference in vibrance clarity and just overall brightness inside of this building here now keep in mind these filters on the left side here the order of these is very important so make sure these are in the correct order and starting with details we are going to put sharpen at 50 percent clarity at 65 percent hdr toning at 45 percent and then bloom at zero percent now moving on to brightness and contrast you're going to have exposure at zero percent contrast at 25%, highlights at negative 100%, shadows at negative 80%, and then gamma at 0%. After brightness and contrast, you're going to add color, and under color, you're going to have tint color and tint intensity both at 0%, and then temperature at negative 5.5%, and then vibrance up to 75%. Now with vibrance here, it's going to really depend on your monitor because every monitor is different. Some are more saturated than others. So you can play around with vibrance a bit just to see what looks best on your monitor. And keep in mind, these little sliders are really hard to get the exact number. So if you don't get the exact number that I have here and it's a percent or two off, don't worry about it. It's going to look virtually the same. Another thing is if you did copy my settings from my settings video, you're going to want to change something in your graphic settings. So go to your graphic settings scroll all the way down to anti-aliasing and switch this from off to filmic smaat2x if you have anything different from this setting the filters are just not going to look very good and yes this is going to lower your frames a good bit but having nvidia filters on is already just tanking your fps and getting a high frame rate is not really what we're going for here so yes using these filters really is tanking your frames but it's a trade-off because it's going to be a lot easier to see people inside of buildings especially those rose skins and it just looks a lot more vibrant, more clear, and it's just a lot brighter and better looking overall. But then again, you aren't really able to play at a high frame rate and high refresh rates with NVIDIA filters. So it's kind of a pick your own poison. You do you, do whatever's best for your situation. I know me personally, I'm having a hard time deciding between playing with the filters on or off because I really do love my high frame rates and my high refresh rate, and it really sucks seeing those frames go down but then again just the clarity and just how good it looks with these filters on and how easy it is to see people in buildings it is just super nice so i'm kind of having a hard time deciding but if this video did help you out please consider dropping a like and subscribing if you're new and just a reminder i do stream monday through friday mornings over on twitch link is in the description and i'll see you guys in the next video here's the web base